Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. You may remember I installed an oil separator, a catch can in my GMC Sierra AT4. I installed a drain hose so I could keep it installed over the winter for our very, very cold climate in Canada. Today we're going to have a look at what's accumulated. Let's go. Okay, so under the hood here, we have our catch can right there by UPR. Now you may remember in the previous video, but I'll bring everybody up to speed in case you haven't seen it. I installed this oil separator slash catch can several months ago, but then come winter time, it is recommended that you drain it more frequently, even perhaps daily. Now with our harsh winters, and this is my daily vehicle and I have other vehicles in the garage, so it has to stay parked outside. Sorry, that's just the reality. I am probably not going to be inclined to pop the hood when it's minus 40, minus 30, minus 20, and drain the catch can. So what we did to work around that was we installed a drain line from the bottom of the catch can. I'll show some footage here from the previous video. Out the wheel well on this side. So there is a drain right down there. Probably a little bit hard to see. Now I haven't been draining it daily when I first installed the drain plug. After two days, I checked it, nothing came out. After three or four more days, I checked it, nothing came out. I was checking it outside and the ambient temperature was well below freezing. So I was starting to think maybe if there is anything in there, it's gelling as it comes down the line, as it gets colder and that's why I'm not seeing anything. If you watch the off-roading video that I just finished, I'll leave a link up above here. You'll see that we put the vehicle through its paces. very curious what this has accumulated because I parked it inside now. I've allowed all the snow and ice from under the vehicle to melt. There was a lot under there, trust me. So we're going to look at this thoroughly and see what's in there. I'm not going to take the time in this video to talk about what a catch can or oil separator is intended to do. I'll leave links to the previous videos I've done in the description below. Definitely check that out. I'm glad that I have one because even in previous videos, checking what was in there in the warmer months was still stuff that I don't want to return to the intake side of the engine and burn off. I'd rather keep that as clean as possible. But there is about 5,000 miles of possible contamination. So let's just uh, get right to it. I gotta grab something to make this video a little more entertaining. One second. We got our truck tears jar. This is a very specific device intended to capture the essence of the, the torment and the agony that this engine has gone through. It's gonna capture that essence and put it in here. So first we're going to drain out of the drain plug, see what's there. I'm gonna be very thorough in this video. I'm going to not only drain it from the line, but after that, even if I have to unclip the cable ties that I have there holding that drain line, I'm going to take the reservoir off so we can see everything after one month of use in the cold and in some pretty harsh conditions, including the off-roading. So that's where our drain is. We got three cable ties holding it in. I wanna film this in a way that you can see it. So I'm actually gonna clip those off, undo the bolt securing the catch can, pull the assembly out and then we'll have a closer look so we can see everything together with a very good view. Okay, I took the whole assembly out. That way I could get a nice straight gravity feed. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's a lot of water. Oh, okay, that's what we have so far if you want to take a look. I wouldn't drink it. Okay, now we will close this and we'll unthread the catch can.
pretty milky. So that's the stuff that would go back into the intake manifold. Gross. Nope, just smooth and milky. So that, my friends, is what the catch can caught. So tell me that this isn't doing something to benefit the top end of your engine to help keep it clean. Truck tears that my GMC Sierra AT4 6.2 liter captured during the cold months here in Canada. There is condensation in it. That's, that was water that first came out. So I don't know how you feel about it. I know how I feel about it. Leave your opinions in the comments below. But uh, I'm glad I have a catch can or oil separator on there. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. I hope you appreciate this update. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.